हेलो एंड वेलकम टू कॉन्सेप्ट गुरु इन टूडे सेशन वी विल टॉक अबाउट मल्टीप्लीकेशन हियर वी हैव फोर बैग्स ईच बैग हैज टू एप्पल्स सो कैन वी क्विकली काउंट हाउ मेनी एप्पल्स वी हैव येस इट इज फोर बैग्स multiplied by 2 apples that equals to 8 apples in a multiplication sum the number to be multiplied is called the multiplicand the number by which we multiply is called the multiplier and the result of the multiplication is called the product Now let us multiply two numbers 3 and 4. If I multiply the number 3 with 4, I get the result as 12. And if I multiply 4 with 3, I get the same result 12. The product of two numbers does not change when the order of the numbers is changed. This property is known as the order property of multiplication. Now let's multiply a few numbers by 1. So 25 multiplied by 1 is 25. 147 multiplied by 1 is 147. And 3765 a very large number multiplied by 1 is also equal to 3765. So we see that the product of a number by 1 is the number itself. this is called the multiplicative property of the number 1 remember if you multiply any number by 0 the result will be 0 so 47 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0 220 multiplied by 0 is also 0 and 7985 multiplied by 0 also results in 0 now let's look at the multiplication of a number by 10 100 1000 etc if you multiply a number by 10 insert a zero at the right of the number for example if you multiply 25 with 10 the result is 250 if you multiply a number by 100 insert two zeros on the right of the number like 79 into 100 is equal to 7900 and if you have to multiply a number by 1000 simple insert 3 zeros on the right of the given number so 47 into 1000 is equal to 47000 simple isn't it now let's try to multiply 29 and 8 first we will multiply 8 with the ones digit of the multiplicand that is 9 so 8 multiplied by 9 is 72 we write 2 in the result and we add 7 to the result of the multiplication 8 and 2 so 8 multiplied by 2 is 16 but we have to add 7 so 16 and 7 is 23 so we will write the result 23 in the output or the product so our result is 2 3 2 or 232 let us try this multiplication 248 with 36 first we multiply the ones digit of the multiplier 6 with 248 using the process that we showed before we get the result as 
four eight eight now we start the multiplication by the tenth digit of the multiplier that is three but before we do that we will write the zero at the ones place of the output then we start the multiplication this is because we are multiplying with the tens digit of the multiplier if we had a hundreds digit we would have added two zeros and if we are doing with a thousands digit we will add three zeros and so on so the result of the multiplication of three with 248 is 744 but we also have a zero at the ones place now we add the two numbers 1488 and 7440 to get the result that is 8928 so 248 multiplied by 36 is 8928 quiz time let's quickly do these multiplications using what we learned you can pause the video for a few seconds and try it out in a piece of paper now then you can compare the results with what we have all the best great job if you got that correct well if you didn't please go through the video one more time and I'm sure you'll get it right. As a parent, encourage your children to practice two digit and three digit multiplication. Always encourage them to do mental calculations as much as possible. And please, please, please avoid the use of calculators or mobile phones for school going children. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video.